I'm making these little bird brags as uh, gifts for newborns. And it's real easy, quick and easy. You're going to make yourself using freezer paper. And I like freezer paper because when you put the iron on the, the paper side, not the shiny side, the shiny side will adhere to anything that you're pressing it down to. So I've taken two fabrics, right sides together, and I've cut out my piece, and I just made a number eight without going across, or a uh, peanut, sh peanut um, shape. And I'm going to lay my piece of paper on the fabrics on the wrong side, and basically use that freezer paper as my template. So at this point, you can either draw with your pencil and then cut it out or cut it out with um, with your rotary cutter or your scissors while having that in place. So once you have that, we'll take it over to the sewing machine so that I can show you how to sew the pieces together. So now I've cut out my shape and I'm ready to stitch. And what you want to remember is to leave an opening so you can turn your piece inside out. So I don't need my starter for this because I am going to start. I'm going to start here. I'm going to go forward a couple of stitches and then I'm going to reverse just to make sure that that opening doesn't come apart when I get ready to turn it. I also like to use my needle down position. This way it'll make it easier for me to stitch around that piece. And I'm just going to follow all the way I've pinned my two pieces. Flannel is a little bit um, more uh, shifty, so you want to make sure you want to make sure to um, pin it in a couple of different places. And either use your stiletto, or right now I'm using my my little purple thing. If you get a little bit of a pucker, just pick up your foot and readjust. I've got my stitch at a 2.5. Um, and I'm just using regular neutral thread. I'm going to be top stitching this, and so you'll want to consider using a color um, that matches your, your piece. And I'm getting ready to come to that opening. you're making a little quilt for your baby, this would be a great little extra piece that you can throw in your diaper bag for when it's feeding time. And I'm going to leave an opening of about two inches. And once again, I want to reverse, make sure that you're locking that stitch. And we are now ready. To clip just at the corners or around the, the, the bend here. We're just going to clip those just so that when we turn this inside out, it'll make it a little bit easier for you to turn those. Make that side and we'll do this side. And when you're cutting these, just make sure that you don't cut through the seam. And if you do, just go back and sew another seam. I just did a quarter of an inch uh, seam. 
And so now I'm ready to take it and turn it inside out. And once you turn it inside out, use the back of your purple thing. You could use a bodkin, you can use um, chopsticks, whatever you have handy. Just make sure that you run it through just so that we can get that nice and flat. And the next thing that you're going to want to do is take it to the ironing board and once again, give it a good press. So I'll meet you back in two seconds. Now I'm ready to tap stitch. Um, don't forget to change the color of your thread. If you want it to stand out, uh, then consider a, a contrasting thread. Um, and if not, just use whatever you have on hand. Now remember that we have that little opening, so I've put two pins just to kind of um, help me keep those um, together. And I'm going to use an eighth of an inch, which is right inside the, um, the corner here of my foot. And I'm just going to top stitch that all the way around. And that will close that opening. And again, as you go along, just take those pins out and I don't back stitch at that point because when I come around I will sew a couple of stitches in and that's it. That's, just, that's how easy this project is. It's a great little add-on to any baby gift that you have to make and I hope you enjoy making them. Mm -hmm.